Good morning, today's lesson is 11.1. Three-dimensional figures and nets. Essential question, how do you use nets to represent three-dimensional figures? A solid figure is a three-dimensional figure because it has three dimensions, length, width, and height. Solid figures can be identified by the shapes of their bases, the base number of bases, and the shape of their lateral faces. Let's unlock the problem. A designer is working on the layout for a cereal box shown. Identify the solid figure and draw a net that the designer can use to show the placement of the information in the artwork on our box. So here's my box, right? Here's my box. So if I were to take scissors and I were to kind of cut it, cut it open and then un or lay it out so that I can see what the actual shapes are so that way I know what artwork can go on each of these little pieces, right? So first I want to um, know how many bases are there. Well, there's the base down here and the base up here. So there are two bases. Are the bases congruent? That means are they equal? Are they the same? Well, yes, the bottom and the top are exactly the same. The lapse part asks is what shape are the bases? Well, the shapes of my bases are rectangles, right? Those are rectangles. You can kind of see the shape on the top right here, right? And the shape on the bottom is the exact same. So let's recall that a prism is a solid figure with two congruent parallel bases. Its lateral faces are rectangles, and it's named for the shape of its bases. So here's my base, and they're rectangles, so it is a rectangular prism, or a rectangular prism, right? So is the cereal box a prism? Yes. What shape are the bases? They are rectangles. So the box is a rectangular prism. So step one says list a ma um, make a list of shapes you will see. The top and bottom we knew were rectangles. The left and right face, right? Those are also rectangles, and the front and back are rectangles. So step two is to actually draw it. So if you look here, and I have a sample in the classroom that you're going to be looking at, okay? They have taken, here's where it says corn twisties, right there you can see, right? The side is a thinner rectangle, and that there's my top and my bottom base. And then the back is the exact same shape as the front, right? And then my other side right there. So you kind of have to unfold it so you can see it. Remember, it's like taking scissors and just kind of cutting it down the side and cutting that down the side and then opening it up so you can see it. A pyramid is a solid figure with a polygon shape base and triangles for lateral faces. Like prisms, pyramids are named for the shape of their bases. A pyramid with a rectangular base is called a rectangular pyramid. So this is the base of a rectangular pyramid. And then a base of an actual pyramid has the triangle shape. So let's describe the figure, base of the figure. So on this one, right, it is the base is a triangle. Describe the lateral faces. Well, on this one, the lateral faces, that's these faces right here, they are also triangles, right? Um, so this figure is a triangular prism. Now when I open up, here's my net. So when I'm looking, you kind of have to visualize. Like I said, you're, you're kind of cutting it, right? So that I'm going to kind of cut it, and when I open it up, there's my base, and then there's my lateral sides that kind of fold up. And again, I have that sample in my classroom that you can look at so you can kind of visualize putting it together and taking it apart into the net or opening it up, right? So the shapes that I use in my net, the base is a triangle and the lateral faces <clears throat> are a triangle. And then there's my shape square right there. Whoops. All right, example two. Let's, this is a sketch. So here's my, my, oops, my net's already written there. This is the net right here. And then this is what the actual object is. I kind of gave you the answer there. So this is the net. This is it. This is the 3D shape that's unfolded out. Okay. So the net has only, it has just this, these two triangles right here, right? And then, so it can't be a pyramid because a pyramid's going to have three, right? So the triangle must be the base. So these two triangles are the bases, and then the sides are rectangles. So that means that this is a triangular prism, okay? So you have three things. You have, well, on the other side, I did the rectangular prism. You have a rectangular pyramid. You have a, triang you have a pyramid, just a regular pyramid. And then this one is a triangular prism, all right? So you have your, and then the prism, boy, I feel like I'm confusing you all right now. So remember our prism was the one that looks like this. That's a regular prism. And then this has the bases that are triangles, so it is a triangular prism, okay? So next it says, the bases and lateral faces of prisms and pyramids. So, the base of prisms and pyramids are both shaped like polygons, like rectangles or squares. 
But prisms have two bases. So they have a top base and a bottom base. See how this one had a top base and a bottom base? And pyramids only have one base. So on the, um, like on the, the two that we did up there, they had one base. And the lateral faces of prisms, um, so and they can be a triangle base or a rectangle base, but the lateral faces are always triangles. So like when we looked up here, we have one base, right? We have one base and the sides are always triangles. This base is a triangle, so it's a triangular prism. This one is a rectangle, so it's a rectangular prism. Okay, the rest you are going to do on your own or with a partner, or I'm also there for you. If you want to look at the samples in the front of the room, you're more than welcome to do that as well. All right, good luck.